All right, so here's some World Tier 3 PvP gameplay of the Rogue build I put together. I was doing some World Tier 4, or at least I was trying to, but there was no one, so I took a shot in the Dark World Tier 3 and actually managed to get some more gameplay. I'm not going to bother reading out what levels all the people are that I kill. I put text over it, so if you really care to see, it's always there. I want to highlight that one there because that was a level 78 rogue and I see them frequently and I think I lost to them once in all the other engagements I came out on top and they even had their immune thing they had tons of poison damage but CC is just too strong I was using the frozen which able to chill them make them me deal more damage to them I was also using poison I ended up coming out on top it's pretty close because poison deals a lot of damage but focusing purely on damage often isn't enough I want to point out here with this necromancer that this necromancer just killed that level 78 rogue and I just killed that necromancer. This goes to show again how different the kinds of rogue builds are from mine from your standard poison or shadow or otherwise. The Necromancer shows up, he gets a drop on me. I feel he activated Corpse 10 for multiple times, but he got me there. I think that was the only time I died to him. And I got here again, see I'm waiting, I got my stuff up to 140, so one more attack and then I stunned for 5 seconds. But this guy just showed up, level 58 druid, and just got kind of deleted. <laughs> I didn't mean, to, like, that I wasn't here to kill him, I was here for the Necromancer, but I got my stun stacks back up and went back in. And I stunned him and he dies, because 6 seconds stun, what are you gonna do? And now we have the Rogue who came back. I kind of blundered this fight really, really bad with how I was using my skills, like I attacked their shadow for example. That was just bad gameplay on my part and then everyone else seemed to have blundered to them as well as you can see. You got the other two people that were in this PvP zone because it's really just the four of us. But I went back because fight and I knew I could take them. So there you go again really close on the bleed damage but not good enough. The reason I went back to town here was to see who was still here and there I saw that rogue leave so I knew that I was no longer going to be fighting them which is honestly kind of disappointing but there you go I made a level 78 rogue 10 levels ahead of me leave the area. Also I'm not putting away my blood shards because I don't care. I just I have everything you can buy from the blood shards and I don't really care for the gambling I think it costs too much for it to really be worth it at any point so not really my priority plus if I kill if someone actually kills me and then my blood shards drop then they're gonna go and they're gonna try to extract it and then I know where they are so I can go and kill them again and then I pick it I they see me pick it up again when they're on like their headstone when after they just died the kill cam so then they'll come back again and it's just the best way to force people to continuously come after you is the less extractions the better the only times I really do is if no one's showing up which was around this time I was having trouble finding people. And that druid kind of just ran into me. And this was after I left, got some hell ties, came back and it was just done. It's like, okay, I can't find anyone. I started to leave and four necromancers showed up, only level 59 I think, and yeah, just death. And that was all I would manage to get this morning. <laughs>